and this is going to be left over the pocket. So a chance for O'Sullivan. Could have been punished there for that risky ready took on to the boat corner. One. Uh, and he'll feel he's missed a trick if he does lose this frame. Kyron. Is it hard enough? We could have done with a big bounce there. We've changed those cushions. Well, that's yeah. one way to sort it out. Just mm. double the safe red. Maybe a little bit of frustration there, but he played it well. Didn't leave anything had he missed it, except the red he was playing on. And again, doesn't get the cannon as he intended. Uh, will he take this on? That's a great shot. But again, 24. he's not on a colour. Will he take the green on? Ronnie O'Sullivan, 24. Well, it was a great ready potted down the cushion. Sullivan deserved to be on a colour. Could be a free ball, and I don't think he gave this much thought. That's a free ball. He was playing the two cushion escape, but never gave the free ball a thought there. He's got the perfect angle on the green. Come down for those two reds. Five. O'Sullivan is not playing anywhere near his best, but what a great chance to level the match. Could have been 3 1 down. Could have been 4 0 down. Okay, Wilson has had Four. chances. But they're going to be starting all over again now. Sullivan, once he gets frames on the board, starts to settle in, relax a bit more, and then starts to play really well. We've seen that happen. Well, hang on, hang on. A little short. Yeah, it didn't bounce as he intended. And he's overcut it. No, just drops in. Perfectly played. So blue and pink, he is struggling a bit, but 31. he's surely going to put the frame away now. And Wilson will look back, I'm sure, will feel he should have won that 37. frame. Certainly had chances. O'Sullivan has levelled the match. And even though Ronnie O'Sullivan is not at the top of his game. 45. Yeah, good pop. He's a very good rest player, but still need pot in those type of shots. And played that one well as well. That was missable. 53. He's finished straight on the blue. Again, that's a little careless. Well, Sullivan. Made a mistake with the safety. Oh, he's missed a straightforward blue. Has he, though? He but hasn't. Wow. That could be massive. How important could that be? Caught it well. So this red, and O'Sullivan needs a snooker. Wilson's had a big slice of luck here, fluke in the blue.
but he's missed the frying ball. Well, I don't believe that. He just needed the red. Fortunately, the red has gone safe. One. He's got the angle to play the cannon to the red nearest the middle. And he might take the double on. Eight. And he's got it. Just got a little bit too much screw in the cue ball for comfort. Left-handed as well. What a delicate little shot. And that was a nice little rub on the red. But this isn't a gimme. Left-handed, down the cushion. Well, this will really hurt Karen Wilson. He had that game ball after getting the good fluke on the blue. Yeah, Karen Wilson quite conceivably could have been 5 1 up. But it looks like he's going 4 2 down. 24. 27. This is going to hurt if he gets the clearance here. 31. 36. Well, he's the wrong side of the pink, so not straightforward this. And not enough Ball screw in the cue ball, so it's not over yet, this this frame. It is now. Oh, what a pot to win it. What a pot to win the frame, and what a great clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. That should have been Wilson's frame, he missed the red. Sullivan has missed very little from long range so far in this tournament. He may have something to aim at, though. Well, does that go in the middle? It's tight. Right. Well, it went down the bottom. I think Hawkeye had that absolutely spot on. Well, he's a little closer to the side cushion than he would have wanted. Fifteen. Well, that, that kissed into the black there. But he makes up for that in very straight queuing and a real inner belief. I think that's Kyron's strength. And just focus on the here and now. He's not easily phased by setbacks, and he had a couple in that first session. This is what we call temperament in sport, isn't it? In, in whatever sport you play, you need a good temperament. And I think Kyron has got that all right. But it is just the one snooker. But that's a very, very good shot. That's the way to keep the advantage. I think Ronnie has conceded the frame. Yeah, so good that O'Sullivan didn't like the look of that. The Reds not well situated for O'Sullivan to make a meaningful counter-attack if he does get a chance. 45. Carl Wilson, 45. 
Having missed the pink, he'll be glad he missed the cannon as well. So Ronnie O'Sullivan comes to the table. 29 behind, still plenty there, but a lot of work to do to get back in this frame. Went all out for the red. Well, if you can't put it directly, cushion first. Uh, just get the feeling that Ronnie's getting a little impatient. He probably needs the mid-session interval to refocus. This is tough. Not really able to see the opening of the pocket from where he's queuing it from. It's almost a blind pocket. That's why I missed it, I feel. Now, that's not such an easy shot to play cushion first. It's quite thin. It looks very inviting. I'm not sure it's simple, this. Up and down. Getting to the same red over the pocket. The crowd will love this if it goes in. Bit of flamboyance from O'Sullivan. And the crowd, duly delighted. But not the cannon he was hoping for. Seven. These are the frames that can change matches. Frames where there's not a big break made. Well, it's a little bit loose, I thought. Playing that double in that way, there was no safety element to it whatsoever. Needs to get some discipline back, I would say. Karen Wilson needs both reds. So frame again is not over. One. Eight. In goes the red. How's the position? Oh, it's a natural, isn't it? It was a natural to get onto the black, and that's what he needed. So, this could be a big turnaround in this frame. Obviously, getting onto the brown is not the easy part. He's a right hander, naturally. So he could play it down the cushion. The blue's not far from where the brown would be. Ten. That's a good shot. That gives him hope of getting on the brown. Big turnaround in the offing here. If O'Sullivan can just take these. Thirteen. Oh, you couldn't have put that better with your hand. What a beautiful touch from O'Sullivan. And now Wilson will be worried. This could be the third frame of this semi-final that he should definitely have won, that he ends up losing. That was the point I was making about the blue being close to the brown. Made things easier. Wow, that is extraordinary. It's been a really curious performance, this, from O'Sullivan. Who only needs the blue, this then, to edge in front. It's getting very edgy very early, isn't it? Still a long way to go in this match. This is not an easy shot from where he's queuing. A rueful grin of sorts. Five. Well, the left-handed shot is not really on here. Sullivan, of course, needs pink and black. 11. Well, this is not a certainty. He's very close to this. He's got to just line down, up the angle yeah. because these can be missed. Another delicate touch required for a 7-6 lead. 
We've had a few eventful frames in this semi-final. That surely tops the lot. Extraordinary stuff. Good pot. Look at that black holding up. Chances arrived here from almost nowhere. He should have won that previous frame, even before the drama right at the end of it when O'Sullivan Missed an easy blue, and then Wilson missed one that he would normally get. He was in control of the frame before then. That's a good pot. That was missable on the stretch. He's such a consummate break builder, it doesn't take him all that long. Very rarely skirts around the issue, takes on the big shot. That's why he's made all the big breaks that he has, including 14 147s in competitive play. Yes, he made a 146, didn't he, in the Welsh Open? Almost deliberately. Played the ping instead of the black, which of course he's firmly entitled to do. A 146 actually rarer than a 147. So that's a good shot. He knew he had the red up the table, and all of a sudden he looks to be firing again. Ronnie well, just looking better. The match is going on. Well, unfortunately, because the cameraman was fooled, and I suspect he wasn't the only one, we didn't get to see that red. I think if Wilson does go on to lose this match, he'll look back, apply the clinical finish. It's not a good shot there. But that is... By the pot. He didn't know a lot about getting on the black, but the pot was fantastic at pace. Doesn't happen this time. Forty-eight. And Ronnie will be disgusted to have played that shot the way that he did. He's very lucky to get the cannon. And he's such a perfectionist, that shot will not impress him. Pupil is not under its usual tight control, let's just say that. 53. And this is very tough if he takes it on. Well, it's a risk he doesn't necessarily have to take. Brilliant. 54. That's a pot that was at that pace as well. I just feel that he's freewheeling a bit here. He's, he's not getting on balls, but he's just knocking them in. Very un O'Sullivan like break this, having to 56. scramble to keep it going, but he's doing that very well at the moment. This is frame ball. And another pot that he made look very straightforward, and it really wasn't. Just one snooker as it stands. Strange one. I mean, the connoisseur out there will have fully know that uh, Sullivan is not really playing with his usual control of the cue ball, but so good that he is, he's able to just keep potting balls. It's been a very out of character break, but they're going in. <laughs> Harem, scare him stuff. 
Unorthodox but mighty effective and Kyron Wilson, no wonder he's shaking his head once again. He must think he's left himself too much to do now this season, Wilson. So it's been a lucrative few weeks for him and it promises to get quite a bit more lucrative for the victor today. Ronnie O'Sullivan now guaranteed £100,000 and a little chat between the two players and I'm guessing it'll be something along the lines of well that wasn't great really was it neither of us really fired in the way we'd like but it's O'Sullivan through to the final by 10 frames to six